Well, glory to God. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Amen. Tonight's Jesus experience. Yes, you got the, the threesome here tonight. Amen. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs> We're going to have a time in the gut. Yes. Oh, what a day to be alive. My God. Pastor Chris Aquiti and, and the Reverend Dr. Bishop. Amen. <laughs> Senior. <laughs> Rylan Box. Box. And See. we have me, Pastor Gary. And Amen. We're going to have a great time in the kingdom of God yes, as sir. we join together to see breakthroughs in your life. Amen. Pastor Chris, why don't you pray? Let's just get us freed up. My God. Father, we bless you tonight. We thank you for the power of one sacrifice. We thank you for everything that you ended in the sacrifice of your son is ended in the life of everyone that's Tune in tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray the word of resurrection, the power of resurrection released into their homes, yes, released Lord. into their lives in Jesus' name. Yes, God. New life. God, that anointing that flows from mm. your spirit mm. flows mm. into mm. their mm. homes mm. tonight mm. in mm. Jesus' mm. mighty name. Mm. Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I, I just, you know, I, as you're praying, yes, I'm I, I just picturing in my spirit the, the reality mm -hmm. of people facing the common, everyday, ordinary drone Absolutely. of human life mm. and God having put his treasure mm. in earthen vessels, mm. that the excellency of the power would be of God and not, of and not us. Amen. I, Amen. I, you're praying and I'm just thinking, mm. here's humanity going through the Everything. the, the the mundane. The mundane. <laughs> yeah. And God said, I'm going to put mm. my treasure, my power my God. in earthen vessels. My God. That what man does in his normal, like rat race type mm. thing, the excellency of the power would be of God mm. and not us. Absolutely. Not how fast I run, not how smart I am, not mm. how far I can go, not how much I can achieve, my not God. how much I can amass, but God. Thank you, Lord. And that's the gospel of Jesus that's Christ in your life. It is the power of God. My God. And this power is right now manifesting in healing. Yes. Because the greater one that's in us mm. is here to manifest healing virtue Thank in you, your body. Mm. This power yes. is not the work of a man. Mm. It is the manifestation of Almighty God. I curse cancer. Yes. I demand it to yes. die in, in the their bodies. In the name of Jesus, my God. I speak to glaucoma. My I God. command my you, be normal my God. in Jesus', Jesus name. name. I speak to that deaf and dumb mm. spirit. You are bound. I command you, loose your hold. Yes, God. In the name, in of, the Jesus. name, of, the name of Jesus. name of Jesus. You see, this gospel mm. Is the power of God. There's healing virtue flowing in necks right now. My People God. have had My stiff God. and pain in their neck down My into their God. shoulder. Right now. In fact, somebody's had their, their actual jaw mm. turned to the side with a crippling pain. Jesus. I speak the loosening My right now in that God. entire God. muscular God. skeletal God. system. God. I speak God. you healed God. by the stripes of Jesus. God. Come yes. forth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Peter and John walked up to the man at the gate. Mm. He's begging. Mm. Jesus walked by him. Every day the prayer teams walked by him. Wow. And then one day he's expecting to receive something from wow. him. And he says, Peter says, look on us. Mm. Silver and gold I don't have. Such as I have. But what I've got. I've got in power. Mm. Yes, Lord. I've got an authority. I've got in the power to get you out of your experience into an experience of God. Yes, Jesus. Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mm. rise up and walk. Lord. And it says, and he lifting him up. He mm. didn't tell him, get up. Mm. He lifting him up. My mm. God. And strength came into his ankles, his feet, his legs straightened out. And he goes leaping and dancing and praising and goes into the temple mm. and shakes the whole place. And then they look at Peter and John mm. as though they had some holy right. dimension. And they say, what? what are you looking at us for? <laughs> like, right. we've got something. <laughs> you think it's our holiness that I've made this yeah, man whole. You think <laughs> we got this? Wow. Like, we did this? 
said, no. No! It's the greater one that lives in us. My Our God. Man. My God. Mm. It is him working. Riley, something's happening. Mm. Amen. <laughs> something's happening. Glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is happening. Amen. Jesus is happening. Hallelujah. He's always happening. Hallelujah. My God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. You know? You know, Pastor, you know, sometimes people are going through situations and all of a sudden they, want, they become a reflection of the conflict that they are faced in and they're looking to God to do something to, to change their condition. But he is a nature that's inside of them. And sometimes we're always looking for something to come from the outside to bring change. And he has change within. Yes. And that shift is key to experiencing Jesus Christ. Because sometimes you're always looking for somebody to do something, to change something, so that now your experience is based on a situation and your experience is not him who is life, regardless of whatever situation you're going through. You know, and that, you, you know, I was listening earlier, you were talking about the Jesus experience. It's yeah. him in us. Yeah, yes. it is like the, when us. they ask you, what is the Jesus experience? It is us. You know? We are that experience. We are yeah. that experience. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Glory. You know, I, I, I just sense in my heart that many of you are, are listening to us in a, in a, almost in a vacuum. Mm. It's like there's a, a particular group of people that have a unique experience with the living God and everyone else is on the outside looking in. Mm. It's like a fishbowl. Wow. And it's like, if I could only get in that atmosphere, I could live in that life. Mm. Well, the real of it is, we have been baptized into that atmosphere. We've been not that... just filled, but we've been immersed Thank you. into yes. Him. We yes. have been completely immersed mm. in the atmosphere of the Almighty. Jesus. And now we're not mm. like outside looking in mm. and we're not inside looking out mm. we are enveloped we are completely Jeez. encapsulated and we have the authority to engage everything in the nature and authority of the kingdom wherein we walk yes, Lord. you see it's not about winning someone to jesus mm. it's about stepping in the kingdom of god and it ruling you know jesus said in luke 11 he said, if I, with the finger of God, cast out demons, mm. no doubt the kingdom of God has come upon you. Wow. Now think about it. He said, he just cast out a demon. Right. He said, if I cast that demon out, it's not about that demon. Mm. It's about the kingdom of God has now come upon wow. you. He said, because this is how it works. A strong man armed keeps his palace. When that strong man has held his influence, it says, all of his goods are at peace mm. because that strong man's got control over everything. Yeah. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, mm. he takes from him all of his armor wherein he trusted. And then the kingdom of God is now manifesting. He divides his spoils. So when we break a stronghold, when we break through into a healing virtue, mm. when we demonstrate the power of God, when we step into the authority as God has ordained it, there is a piercing of the environment that liberates everything that's been held captive. Wow. And there becomes the distributing of what the enemy has held. So listen to me. Mm. This night is not about how I, how Pastor Chris, mm. how Reverend Ryland, how the awesome man of God mm. moves in power. No. It's about how when that power is in you, By everything God. in your environment bows to him. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And God's no respecter of persons. No Absolutely. respecter. Yeah. It, it has nothing to do with what stature or status we have. Mm. It has everything to do with I put my treasure in yeah, earthen yeah. vessels. My God. You know, you, you think about it. I was sharing with someone one time. I said, if you take a, a 10 carat diamond and put it in a, in a nice box or you put it in a trash can, the value of that diamond changes everything. You know, it's not about the trash can or the nice box. That's right. <laughs> it's like this is the, this is what the value is in. The, 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 the diamond 
changes the value of that trash can. You're not going to hold it, the trash can the same way anymore because of what's in it. You know? That's right. We have the life of God in us. And if the enemy wants to do anything, he wants to keep, you to, he wants to keep your eyes on the trash can as opposed mm. to the deposit that God has put in you, which is himself. Yes. My God. You know, I, I think about that scripture about having the treasure in earth and vessels, vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not us. And I consider what Paul was writing about mm. when he said that. Mm. He was not talking about anything going right. Mm. He was talking about wrong. everything going, going wrong. wrong. Yeah. Right. He was mm. <laughs> He was talking Rob, about Rob being perplexed and <laughs> distressed. <laughs> distressed, you name it, you know? Above measure. Wow. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what, you what the humanity experiences. Mm. What matters is what's the Jesus experience. Wow. Yes. Wow. You know? Sometimes, you know, I, I just have this sense of my spirit. Like sometimes, you know, when you do experience the perplexed above measure and mm. the pressure, you know, you're, you're, you naturally want to respond to it. Sometimes we want to try to respond to it in the flesh. Mm. But the faith, your faith is when you don't do that. Your faith is when you say, God, it's through you. It is the treasure in the earth and vessel. It takes faith to do that. Mm. It takes faith not to go out and try to make it happen yourself. It takes faith not to respond to a situation in the natural. Absolutely. It takes faith not to not to do what you always do or what you normally do or what your family does and what mm. someone else does. It takes faith to not do these things and to say, you know what, God, it's you. And to trust him and to receive from him and to know that it's the treasure in the earth in an earthen vessel. Mm. And when you, when, you, when you do that, then you receive, it's grace that you receive and you receive what God's doing by faith instead of you getting your hands on everything and trying to make it takes faith to do it Absolutely. but without faith it's impossible to please God we have to do it by faith we have to do it by faith everything manifests by faith mm. so in the midst of what you're doing of what you're experiencing don't do it with your own hand don't do it mm. with your own strength don't right. do it with your own ability but rely upon him Absolutely. rely upon his ability rely upon his wisdom, rely upon his grace, his peace, his love, his direction, his word, mm. rely upon him and let the strength be what God does and not what you can do in your own ability. Let the strength be what God does in you. Mm -hmm. And when God does it, he does it perfectly. When he, God does it, he does it amazingly. Hallelujah. You know, Pastor Gary, he used to talk about when God brings you out, like the children of Israel mm. and everything coming out of Egypt that he brought them out with riches. He right. brought them out the with, with yeah. the spoils. Mm. And that's the way God wants to bring you out. And that's the way God brings us out Absolutely. of situations. But, but we can't rely on our own strength. You know, you know, we just can't rely on our own strength. And I just sense in my spirit that there's people that mm. you might be in situations. Mm. And God's saying he's bringing you out with the high hand. Yes. But, but the high hand comes God's way. Amen. God, the high hand comes through the word of God, through God's wisdom, through God's direction. And God is the only one that's going to get the glory for it because the high hand is what God does that no one else could possibly do. The high hand has God's fingerprint on it that everyone can see and everyone can know that this only could occur because of the grace of God, that it Amen. only occurs because of the cross. It only become, occurs because of him. And that's the way God's bringing you out of situation. So I encourage you today to, to trust in what God's doing and, and, and let it happen God's way. Because God's bringing some people out of some situations with a high hand of victory. And sometimes I just sense in my spirit, like some people, you might be in a situation and it's like, man, I'm going to get myself out of this. And God said, no, 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 no. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me, watch what I'm going to do. Trust me in the midst of the situation. Receive the strength from me. Receive the strength in the midst of it from me and watch what I do. 
Let God get the glory in that situation. Let it be a testimony of God's glory. Let it not be about you or what you're going through because it's not even about you or what you're going through. It's so that the glory of God can be revealed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, it reminds me of the book of Acts when Jesus rose from the dead and here were the uh, apostles that were asking him, would you restore the kingdom back to Israel? It's like, this is, this, we're in this condition. You got to do something about this. And he says, And here's it's, resurrection <laughs> standing in right front of them. Right? <laughs> you know, they have this expectation. <laughs> You've been raised from the dead. Now we are out of this conflict that we're in. And he says, it is not for you to know, mm. you know, mm. what God, the times and seasons that God has put in his power, but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. For what purpose? So that you will be a witness of my life. You know, you are in this so that you will be a witness of this life of God. It's not about what you're going through. You, it's about Jesus. you are called for a greater purpose than all the conflicts that you're faced with. You oh, know, my Father. If every one of us will know that, then our prayer is not, you know, you, you think about praying with Pastor Gary, and you're like, okay, when are we going to pray about my problem? This <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're not touching your problem. <laughs> he already <laughs> dealt with your problem. We are on an assignment so that you will manifest the life of God you, in Jesus. wherever you are today. Wow. That's exactly what Paul wrote. Listen, mm. listen to this. For we preach not ourselves. ourselves. Now, now think about it. We don't declare us, mm. it, but Jesus Christ the Lord and ourselves, your servants mm. for his sake. Then he says, for God who commanded the light wow. to shine out of darkness. Now, remember, we proclaim Jesus, not us, but we ourselves are his servants for your sakes. Mm. God commanded light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts. Now think about it. To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Who is he saying the light is going to reveal to? Hmm. Them. Wow. Hmm. He said, we're not preaching us. No. We're preaching him. him. And we're preaching ourselves your servants mm. for Jesus' sake mm. because the light that's in us is shining out of darkness in the face of Christ right in your life. Wow. Right in your life. Mm. We have this treasure. We have this treasure. In earthen vessels. In earth that vessels. In the excellency, the power may be of yep. God and not us. Wow. So what were they saying? Mm. They were saying, I know the darkness you're in. Mm. When I step into it, God commands light out of darkness because now I'm your servant. Mm. And Jesus. the excellency, the power that manifests is of God, not of us. Hallelujah. And I step into service to Jesus. you. And now you're the darkness you're in. God commands light That's out of true. darkness. I step into service to another person. Mm. I had a fellow, a multi, the guy... The guy's son, if I told you his name, you'd know it. Mm. I'm on a, a walk on a place called Coronado Beach mm. in San Diego. Eight o'clock at night, I run up on this guy and I stop him. His son's a billionaire. He's reformatted the entire tax code. Wow. And he and I become like we've been long lost brothers. Wow. Jewish fella. He said, you know, I'd just like you to just stay with me. <laughs> he said, I don't know what it is. Well, Guy's in his mid-80s. <laughs> he goes, I don't know what it is about you. I said, it's all about the life that's in me. Hmm. He goes, well, what is that life? Hmm. <laughs> wow. Because see, we're God's servant Absolutely. in darkness to let light Shine out of darkness. My God. And he said, I heard about Jesus my entire life, hmm. but I've never desired what somebody had like when I met you. Mm. Wow. 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 And he said, and you never even mentioned his name. Wow. I said, I don't have to. I am his name. I am. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. Hmm. 
Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I walked into the door of his, his penthouse place, you know. He goes, uh, he goes, will you, you take me out to dinner next week? I said, well, I'm going to be, I won't be back for a few weeks. He goes, here's my number. Make sure you call me. He said, you, we got to get together. Wow. He said, praise I, God. I, because see, you go into darkness and light. Now, I never even told him the name of Jesus. Wow. He told me. Because the commanding power is out of darkness. Right, it is. And we live in service to the people. Hmm. We live in, and so think about it. You go into darkness. You go into the most chaotic oh mayhem of the enemy's most oppressive, contorted, distorted Jesus. visions and plans. And now you're the servant planted with light shining out of darkness. Hallelujah. Giving the light of the glory of God in the face of Jesus. Hmm. That the excellency of the power would not be of us, but of God. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Father, open the eyes My of your children. Yes. Let them see My who God. lives in, in them. them. Yes, Let God. them My walk God. in who flows through God, them. Flow. Yes, God. God, let them Manifest know your life. why they're sent in the in darkness. darkness. What the darkness is to experience. God, let your power let you flow. so manifest. Hallelujah. As we seize this world. Mm, we thank yes, you for the treasure you have in Life every believer. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God you for the deposit you. of your life in every believer today watching. We bless yes. you, God. Yes. In your home, in your family, in your place of work. Yes, in Lord. your city, in your community, in, yes, your, Jesus. in your church, you are that light and manifestation. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. It's amazing today, Pastor, that this scripture is, the, when he goes on to say, I bear in my body the dying of the Lord Jesus so that the life of Jesus might be made manifest in my mortal flesh. Yes, Lord. No matter what you're going through today, no matter how dark, no matter how oppressive, bear in your body the dying of the Lord Jesus. Tell that voice, it's crucified. Well, not just so that you just live non-active, non-responsive, but so that the nature, the life of Jesus will yes. be made manifest. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my Father. Hallelujah. Oh, my Father. Glory to God. Yeah, this, <clears throat> so this past week I've been um, just, uh, we have like one of the, uh, the artist that's coming for the concert, mm. uh, December 13th, Chandler Moore. And right. he's, he's a worship leader. So I, I uh, kind of went on to some of his music and started listening to it. And um, they have this thing, it's called Maverick City hmm. Worship or something. And I went on that and just the presence of God has been so strong on it. And I, I've been feeling like the Lord just like drawing me into worship, drawing me into worship, drawing me into worship. And uh, so uh, last week, it was like at the end of the week, because um, sometimes I work from home, but I went into the office. And I was just sitting at my desk, and all of a sudden, I just became aware of the presence of God. And it was just, just, it was just like manifesting. It was just releasing and releasing. And I'm sitting there working, and the presence of God's getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And I'm working, and I, I you know, we're in cubicles. Everyone's all around me. Somebody sits right behind me. Somebody sits right next to me. And I'm like... This is getting strong. I, I, I didn't say this. I'm just thinking it. Like, this is getting really strong in here. And I was like, I wonder what they're thinking. Like, what's going on? And then some kind of a way, like out of the blue, some way, a, some conversation came up about me um, when I was young, in my teen years before I got saved and I used to drink and everything. And, um, and then from that, it went to you don't drink anymore? And I was like, no, nah, I've been drinking since I was 17 years old. And then it was like, how did that happen? And then next thing you know, like people, like one woman literally got up out of her cubicle and came around to me and said, 
what happened to you? Like, I need to know what happened to you. And I was mm -hmm. like, you know, it was the Lord and everything. And it just opened the door. It was almost like the Holy Spirit just stirred people's wow. spirit up. And, and this is during work. This wasn't at lunch or anything. This was like literally on the job working. Mm -hmm. But they're asking me questions. I mean, I can answer a question. Right. <laughs> so I'm answering questions. And, um, and I could just tell there was a sense of, like what you said, like, they want to know more. And I told them, I was like, you know, one day we'll go out to lunch and we'll, we'll talk all about it and everything. And I'm actually the manager there, but they were coming to me and asking me questions. And I just, it, it, I didn't generate this. It was just like the whole, it was a divine appointment mm. by the presence of God. Mm. And um, just what you're saying, Pastor Chris, yeah. like, you know, we bear in our body the dying of the Lord Jesus. Mm. It's like, you know... Not living for ourselves. Absolutely. Not not living for ourselves. Not living for our agenda. Not living mm. for the weekend. Not living for movies. Not living mm. for money. Not living for food. You know, food's good, but not living for, for it. it. You know, yeah. not 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 living for our own appetites, mm. but living for him. Absolutely. And as we engage him and engage this life. This life just starts manifesting when you're not even expecting it. He just, wow. because, look, if if I'm dead and it's Christ living in yes. me, wow. I, how do, I don't control Christ. No, he's he just that. does what he wants when he wants because he's God. Absolutely. I mean, I can't control Christ. I mean, if he's manifesting, he's manifesting. Mm. And it's up to me to be sensitive that when he is moving, I move with him. When he is speaking, that I speak with him. Mm. When he's praying, that I pray with him. Absolutely. I'm just moving with him. I'm not, I'm not conjuring it up or mm. controlling it. I'm following it. Because the Bible says we're led by the Spirit. That means he's the one in the lead. I'm following. My job is just following what, where he's moving, following his direction, following what he's doing. I'm just following in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, I just thank you. Yes. You know, there's, there's people out here right now that you say, God, I just thank you for grace Hallelujah. that they have ears to hear, Lord Amen. Jesus. Ears to hear where those ears have been dull yes. because of sin or because Awaken. of compromise. Father, we just pray right now. We yes. say, Lord, just say Jesus. this. If that's you, just say, Lord, I thank you for Lord, the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. And I come boldly to you right now. And I come boldly to you right now. I repent where I've gone my own way. I repent where I've gone my own way. And right now, Lord. And right, right now, now, Lord, your goodness, your, your goodness, goodness is turning me, is turning, turning me back to you, back to back you. To Forgive you. me, Jesus. Forgive me, Jesus. And I open my heart to you. And I open my heart to you. What you're speaking to me. What you're speaking. How to you're me. directing me. How, how you're directing me. I move in your direction. I move, I move in, in your direction. direction. By faith. By, by faith. faith. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And see, remember, it's it's by faith. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. Mm. The just shall live by faith. It's not, it's not a work. It's not a work of my own ability and strength. Mm -hmm. It's just by faith. Next time when you feel that direction of God, just go with it. When that motivation of the Holy Spirit comes, just go with it. I know for me, I've shared this multiple times. I don't know what it is about me and Monday Night Football. But the Holy Spirit, for some reason, does not care about Monday Night Football. <laughs> I'll be like, in the middle of watching the game, and the anointing had just come on me so strong. I'm not trying to be super spiritual. I'm giving you an example. Right. I'm giving you an example. God doesn't care about Monday night football. I'll be in the middle of the game, and the Holy Spirit had just draw me away to prayer. And I'm like, he ain't even waiting for the commercial. <laughs> like, just in the middle of the game. He's just Praise doing God. stuff. Amen. That's, but see, you say, well, what is it? That's what I mean by faith. Faith, what God's doing. How he's moving with you, what he's telling you to do, where he's telling you to go, who he's telling you to minister to or to be around in fellowship with just moving in that prayer. Hallelujah. When he's telling you to pray, moving in that direction. Amen. That's what we're repenting from in the name of Jesus is that, so, that, so that the life of Jesus can be manifested in our yes. mortal bodies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I, I want to just speak out of my spirit. Your spirit. This is your time to step over the threshold of the supernatural dimension of your spirit life. Yes, Lord. To step out of 
the mental, the emotional, psychological, the social, mm -hmm. the environmental, the financial, step into the spiritual dynamic that rules you. Hallelujah. Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. Amen. It's your time to Thank step you, in. Yes. And the way in is the sacrifice of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Is the power of his resurrection. Glory yes. to the God. life that is yes. in you is yes. more sufficient than anything you could ever think or know. He is your sufficiency. Amen. So step in. Thank you, Jesus. Step into him yes. and experience him. Your life will never be the same. And we want you to, as you get ready to close out this webinar, get web offer 158, freedom from insecurity and inferiority. Hallelujah. Mm. It's called crown to reign as a king. Hallelujah. And that's what we're talking about, crown to rule. As a love gift of $25 for everything mailed to you, or you can do it as a download for 15. Maybe you want to sow $15,000. Whatever you sow, just do it. Amen. Shop.jesusexperience.com. Experience God. Watch what he does next. Your life will never be the same. I want to thank you, gentlemen, for being with me. Thank you, Pastor. I know one thing. <laughs> we are servants of God. Yes. In darkness, so that light shines out of darkness, has shined in our hearts. Hmm to give the light of the gospel of the glory of God in the face of Jesus. This is your time. Tomorrow, when you step in to that environment that was dark to you yesterday, you are the light going in it tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. We love you. We're going to see you next Tuesday night. Amen. God bless. God bless. <laughs>